What's up world, it's the Javelin Breakdown. And we're gonna to talk today about javelins, how to pick a javelin, what flex is. Um, so what we have here is a 50 meter javelin from a local company. We have an OTE 60, the old uh, vertical stripe colorway. This is the OTE 70, it's the new, more new colorway. And this right here is their Carbon One countervail. So this 50, if I put it in the ground, grab at the top and just kind of wiggle it some, has a lot of flex, right? And so its construction allows it to vibrate, right, flex when it's in the air. And so even if you don't hit the javelin through the point, you're going to be okay because of that flex for the most part, right? And so that flex is going to compensate and you're not going to have as much strain in your elbow or shoulder or back, right? Depending on where you're at in your technique and, and where your weak point is. So this right is really forgiving. So it's not gonna fly as far because that flex, that vibration is gonna increase the drag on the javelin. And so it's just gonna come down sooner. But as you're learning, it's really gonna keep your elbow and you know the rest of you from getting totally destroyed. Um, so very forgiving. This is where you wanna start and this is where you wanna hang out. And even if you're an accomplished thrower, it's a perfectly good javelin to throw in training and the less vibration, the cleaner your delivery, right? That's great feedback. So this is where you wanna start and spend a lot of time if you're new. As you gain, um, you know, in skill level and you can hit the javelin through the point, right? You can probably start competing with a 60, right? So this 60 meter javelin has flex, but uh, less flex than this 50, right? And so it's a little bit shorter and the, the thickness of the, of the tubing is, is greater. So just in terms of its construction, right? It's, it's a stiffer javelin, it's gonna vibrate less, it's gonna go further when thrown properly, but it still has enough flex um, that it's not gonna absolutely destroy you um, in comparison to something like this, right? And so then the next step up, the 70 is a little stiffer, right? So put that in the ground. And so it has a little bit of give, but not a lot, right? And so, you know, the 16, especially 70 meter javelin should be for your athlete um, on the girl's side that's probably throwing over, you know, the girl ladies are throwing, a, I think, a 50 or 55 or a 60 meter javelin would be the would be the comparison to the 70. Um, you know, if you're if you're over 110 or so and you're consistently hitting the point, um, and, and and so that that might be a time where you say, okay, you know, we can throw a stiffer javelin in competition. But again, your training should be down here, right? Because these are forgiving, so it's going to keep you from from having a lot of pain if you miss a throw, right? And then when you compete, if you're more dialed in, you can take a step up. Now this here is the Carbon One. This is OTE's um, stiffest javelin. Um, so it has basically zero flex. I compare it to like a telephone pole. So this here is their thickest javelin. It's the maximum tolerance. You know, it's, the sticker says 100 meters. It's, it's very stiff, right? So it should only be thrown by very experienced, very capable throwers who are hitting the point, who are in really good shape and you know, you're trying to throw really far and um, you understand the risk of throwing something that's stiff, you know? And I see high schoolers throwing, you know, really expensive javelins like that, the Nordic, you know, carbon javelins. And you know, you have to be in really good shape to be throwing javelins that stiff. And even then, you know, the, the gain that you're gonna get out of them at your level, right? If you're a 200 foot person, if you throw a good 70, it's gonna go that far. Right, and so, you know, if you're at your state meet, you know, I'm not gonna say don't throw this, right? It's gonna go a little farther. It's meant to fight for a distance, but week to week, that's just too much strain on your body. So, you know, even if you're really good, you know, a 70 is gonna be just fine. The OT 70 and the Nordic Master 70 are great javelins. So highly recommend that, you know, if you're an elite high school boy or, the, or the, if you're an elite high school girl, you know, the, the comparative 60 meter model. It's gonna be great. And then you're training with the 60 and even good 50s. Um, Cause you, you just want that vibration. You know, and then another tool, what we have here is the Spearworks Ghost Jav. And so this is made by Spearworks, a great company in Pennsylvania. And so this thing right here um, has a good amount of flex and ultimately um, at 450 grams, you know, it's, it's half the weight of the guys Javin, you know, a quarter of the weight less than the girls. Um, you know, it's a great training tool. And so throwing something like this, um, 
you know, is going to make a difference in your ability to analyze your flights, but, you know, save your body. So I love to throw the, the ghost jab um, in between these. You know, if I have a bad throw with, with one of these, I tell myself, okay, dial it in next throw with this. If it's good, then you can go back to the 800, you know, whatever it was that I didn't have right. Because that flex um, is what's going to say, you know, okay, I do something wrong here and out there, the flex is what keeps my body from experiencing it. So if I make a mistake with these two, oh boy, I'm in trouble. And so it makes a big difference to train with these softer javelins that are gonna vibrate in the air instead of vibrating, you know, your your back or your elbow or shoulder. And that's not to say you, you just still obviously get hurt, but if you're misaligning your throw with this flexible javelin, you're not gonna have as much pain as if, if you misalign one of these. So, you know, at the end of the day, if you're new to javelin throwing, stick to the 50. And if you have training tools like the fin jab or the ghost jab, you know, that's great. Stick to those and be able to hit the javelin through the point, really clean flights. And then once you can do that, you know, then you can say, okay, get a 60 or ladies, get a 50. Um, and then, you know, from there you can progress.